Hello students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Miracle 2020 of test number 1 code ENF. Your test was held on 13th of October 2019 and I'll be dealing with the botany section. So let's quickly take the botany section. The very first question, the botany is question number 91 which says the non-membrane bound cell organelle which helps in the cell division is. See here. It should be the non-membrane bound cell organelle. So first you have to identify which cell organelle is non-membrane bound. Vacuole, no vacuole is membrane bound. Ribosomes, yes, they are non-membrane bound. Nucleolus as well as centriole, they all are non-membrane bound. But the organelle which helps in cell division. Nucleolus is the site for RNA synthesis. Ribosome helps in protein synthesis. Yes, centrioles helps in cell division. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. All of the following are features of prokaryotic cells except. So out of these four options, three options are the features of the prokaryotic cells. You have to find out which one is not the feature of the prokaryotic cells. They have 70S ribosomes. Yes, prokaryotes have 70S ribosomes. The genetic material is naked because the genetic material is not surrounded by any nuclear membrane. So this is also correct. Their extra chromosomal DNA is circular. Yes, the extra chromosomal DNA is the plasmid. So, plasmid is circular, the genomic DNA is linear. No, in case of prokaryotes, there is no linear DNA. So, the genomic DNA is double-stranded, circular in prokaryotes. So, this is incorrect. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's see the next question. Question number 93, the structure which allows bacterium to hide from host immune system is... Yes, bacteria can be recognized by the immune system of the host or the organism in which they innovate. But there is presence of capsule in some bacteria and presence of capsule can hide the bacteria from the immune system of the host. So the correct answer for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94, which of the given cannot be a component of plasma membrane? Phospholipid. Yes, it's a component of the plasma membrane called the plasma membrane as lipid bilayer. So lipids are the components, carbohydrates. Yes, some oligosaccharides are also present in the plasma membrane. Cholesterol, of course. Pectin. No, pectin is a component of the cell wall, not of the plasma membrane. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's see the next question. Question number 95. Choose the incorrect statement for plasma membrane. It is freely permeable for polar molecules. No, the very first statement is incorrect. Why? Because polar molecules means the molecules which are hydrophilic and the plasma membrane is not freely permeable for the hydrophilic molecules. They can move across the membrane with the help of some transporter proteins. They are not allowed to move freely. So this is incorrect it is involved in the formation of intercellular junctions. Yes, it is true. The lipid components are quasi-fluid in nature. Yes, the lipid of the plasma membrane, they provide fluidity to the plasma membrane. And hence, the fluidity of the plasma membrane is due to lipids. Sodium and potassium ions move across it with the help of energy. Yes, there are sodium-potassium pumps in the plasma membrane by which sodium and potassium ions can move. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's see the next question. Mm -hmm. 